a new film I saw, and by new I mean, you know, it was within the last 20 years, is a film entitled The Strange Color of Your Body's Tears from 2013. This is sort of a part of a new wave of neo-giallo films. If you don't know, giallo is a genre of horror slash thriller that were popular in Italy in the 60s into the 70s. Very stylish films, always had a black glove killer. And um, this was done by a husband and wife or male-female companion team who did another film named Amer or Amer, A-M-E-R, Amer, that was also sort of a neo-giallo. And um, it's very stylish, this strange color of your body's tears. It's one I've been looking forward to seeing for a long time. The poster art is fabulous. It's beautiful. It's a great title that very much evokes... Well, it, what it really does is evokes the, the two Sergio Martino film titles, which would be The Strange Vice of Mrs. Ward and All the Colors of the Dark. Two really good movies that are available streaming and, and on Blu-ray from Severn, I believe. At least one of them. Or maybe both by the time you see this. And... Um, What's it about? That's hard to say. I watched this film, and I could not tell you what was going on through half of it. I sort of followed it up to a point, and then it was so dark in so many sequences, and it was shot so tight in so many sequences, I wasn't sure who was who and who was talking to who, and if it was a flashback or a flash forward or a flash to the left or a flasher and where anybody was and what was going on and I was just lost during this film. Now I did some research afterwards and I found that the the filmmakers said they wrote this film stereoscopically in that you're supposed to watch it multiple times and each time you watch it you get a little bit more out of it and I don't have that kind of time. I'm sorry. Call me shallow, call me simple, call me irresponsible. I want to watch a film and have it make sense for the most part, while I'm watching it. And, and if I don't like a film, I'm really not gonna take the time to watch it two or three more times. I've heard many people talk about films and they say, well, you really need to watch it twice. I'm like, no, 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 no. If it doesn't work on me the first time, I got a lot of, you, you should see the stack of films I haven't watched yet that I've paid for that I actually do wanna see. I'm not gonna sit through a film I didn't enjoy more than once. At any rate, people who do like this film said that it does benefit from multiple viewings because you see various threads that run throughout and, and deeper meaning and it all makes more sense. For me as a first time viewer, I, I, I wanted to turn it off. It, like, it's very interesting in where it's set. It's set somewhere in Europe. It's Luxembourg or Belgium, I'm not 100% on that. Um, the interiors and the old buildings and houses that they it's set in are really lovely. Some of the photography is very interesting and the music is good. The music is actually all lifted from old Jalo films. Um, which gives it that vibe, but buddy, I kind of have to know what's going on while I'm watching it, while I'm watching it. I don't want to read a libretto afterwards that tells me, oh, this is what you just saw and should have understood, or, you know, if you watch it three or four, no, no, life's too short. I need to understand it while I'm watching it. And maybe I'm just not smart enough, I don't know. But for me, the, the way it was written and the visuals just, it was incomprehensible, occasionally beautiful, but incomprehensible. So I am curious to see the other film these filmmakers made, Amer, Amer, I hear it is written with less stereoscopic intentions. Um, and I'm willing to give it a shot because I like the idea of, of, of attempting to go back to that older style. But half the time between you and me, when I watch a movie that's trying to be a throwback to another style, it really just makes me want to watch those other movies. It, it always feels like a pale imitation. Even that film, Fran Francesca, which was another one of these neo giallo films, while it had an interesting vibe to it, it, it kind of felt fake. It just made me want to watch those old films. And let me tell you, if you're interested in giallo films, it's not like there are four and you watch them and, oh no, now what do I watch? There's like 400 of them. It's like spaghetti westerns. It's like, I just have to go watch The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly again if I want a spaghetti western. No, there's actually like about 400 to 1,000 spaghetti westerns. You're never going to run out. So for, to me, if you're gonna do a throwback to the old stuff, make it good or else I mean, I've got a lot to choose from of the real thing. Anyway, nothing against the filmmakers. They got this movie in theaters, they got it on video and people really like it. It was just, to me, impenetrable and boring and I really, it was all I could do to get to the end of it. So for your consideration, send me a message if you do like this film and tell me what it is that I missed because apparently I wasn't paying close enough attention. The Strange Color of Your Body's Tears.